baja, tan baja, tan baja que, que no me ponía por allá. Estas son muchas cosas, la verdad. Okay, so first bike up is the Trek. And already I have quite a serious problem in that they stick the brakes on on the other way around here. So <laughs> where my front brake normally would be is my back brake and vice versa, which is not good. I'm also a little bit dubious about how good this track is going to be. No one seemed to have any information about it in the actual event itself. Um, but we'll see. I think it's cross-country type stuff more than it is going to be downhill type stuff. Lots of fire roads, I would imagine, which um, isn't very good. But on the flip side, I have back to front brakes, which is so weird. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it, I'm on the track first of all, and straight away I've just noticed that I've got a pedal strike way, way earlier than I would have got on my own bike. It's obviously got quite a low bottom bracket on this. And it's hot, hot, hot. It's like 35 degrees, man. But I like the track, actually. It's, it's burly. I didn't expect it to be so burly. It's got oversized wheels, real fat, chunky frame. But obviously still mega lightweight because everything on the bike looks like it's carbon fiber. Yeah. First impressions are pretty good, which is all you're going to get today, really, on a, uh, on a half an hour ride or 45 minute ride. Oh, man, everything on this bike is back to front. And even the, even the dropper remote is on the other side. Everything is back to front for me. It's weird. Oh, there is single track. Bonus. pedal strike there another one maybe that the that the um, suspension is not set firm enough doesn't seem bad though You can hear that, but I think it's the suspension. I don't know. There's no way a bike should be bottoming out this much.
So I'm just going to chime in a few times during this video, guys, just to give you some feedback on the bike and stuff. First of all, I just want to give you a bit of the backstory leading up to this. I had not slept well the night before. I was way too excited. It took me six hours to get up there in the car. I totally forgot to eat and drink properly on the way up there. I completely didn't realize these you heard me say just now it's 35 degrees it was actually 37 38 degrees which is 100 degrees fahrenheit so it was ridiculously hot i went bowling up to the stand um the trek stand got him to set the bike up as per my weight and height which i provided online he did not set the bike up very well at all the back just the back shock i go on to talk about that in a minute but the back shock was set up way too soft um which was what the problem was all along but yeah, I just wanted to give you a bit of the background about the lead up to this. My first demo day um, test ride was a complete disaster, to be honest, but it was kind of perfect because, you know, your first go at anything should be a bit of a disaster. So I'll let you get back to the test ride. It's not a very exciting track and the brakes being back to the front made it so difficult for me to ride hard. I'm going to try and get them to flip brakes for me on the next um, four test rides. Uh, yeah, I'll give you a bit more of a rundown on the bike at the end of the video. I'm going to check the sag on this bike. So as I can give you like a definitive answer on the uh, pedals hitting the ground all the time, pedal strikes. Yeah, he set me up with about 50% sag, I would say, which solves that problem. Ride on this. Sorry, mate. It's right. Back suspension's too soft. <laughs> this is fucking ridiculous. Every pedal revolution, I'm hitting my pedal. Should have bought a track pump, a shock pump. Okay guys, thanks for watching that. I'm going to blitz through a bit of a summary on that bike. Obviously, the setup problems that I had were the brakes are back to front for me, which is a massive hindrance when you're riding a bike. Um, it's too short a time to get used to it and you just can't ride properly like that. The rear shock was set up way too soft for me, which, mean, which meant I was having pedal strikes like all the time even on you know flat ground cornering um so that was a real problem and the tires were a little bit flat as well um a lot of that's my fault i should have a track pump and i should have a shock pump but it's my first time at an expo and i just i'm not really prepared enough uh but i'll get them to set the bikes up properly for the other sort of four test rides um so that stuff kind of set aside with a like an hour riding on a bike i can't give a proper review but my initial thoughts are this it's a really nice solid bike I like um, the frame. It's a carbon fiber front triangle, uh, aluminium back triangle. It's a really nice bike, actually. It's really solid, really burly. The oversized wheels I like. I'm a bit... Um yeah, I'm a bit not sure really about the oversized tires. I need to ride them for a bit longer really because um, they were set up too soft on this bike for me. Plenty of grip on the compacted dirt that we were on in this in this trail, but it's not many tires should be having issues with grip on that kind of a trail really. Um, but and I wasn't really able to ride hard enough with the brakes and not knowing the trail to be able to really feel what the tires were up to. But um, yeah, so the jury's out on that one for me. But the bike, you know, size wise, it's a lot. I'm a I'm six foot three quite quite a balance I haven't got particularly long legs or a particularly long body I, th I think I've got a 30 or 31 inch inseam um, and the bike fit me really well uh, so the sizing is spot on with it so yeah I, I really like that bike as a first run out if it was set up properly with the brakes the right way around I could really have a good shred on that bike I really really liked it um, so yeah click the top left hand button there for another one of my videos and the bottom left hand side there the subscribe button is just below there'll be some more um, bike tests four more bike tests to follow after this one and i'll link those all up as well so yeah thanks a lot for watching guys on your bikes